Welcome to the Mail Theory channel, let's talk about the new Nothing Phone 1 which is creating waving in the smartphone market. I was so impressed with the stylish clean Nothing OS Android based user experience, head turning transparent design, and glyph lighting. It also comes with a good price with a performance balance. Eye catching transparent back design. They got lots of variants of Nothing Phone 1 in 3 RAM, storage variants, 8GB, 128GB, 8GB, 256GB, and 12GB, 256GB, respectively. However, if you look at the UK prices and convert them to roughly $475, $530, and $590 in the US. Nothing Phone 1 is lightweight for its size but a little cumbersome. I love the premium fit and finish with tactile buttons. It comes with IP53 certified against dust and water. I like the colors of the phone which is white and black. Ping unveiled the phone 1 on July 12, 2022, and the handset will be available from July 21st across the UK, Europe, India, Japan, Hong Kong and Australia. Ahead of launch, the company had already confirmed a US release will follow at a later date, but couldn't specify when, it's speculated that modifications are needed for the phone 1 to properly leverage the region's 5G infrastructure. I can't believe it feels lighter because it is just 193.5 grams, it sits below the 200 gram threshold beyond which a device's weight starts to feel noticeable. Let's talk about other features of Nothing Phone 1 which are differentiators from other smartphones in the iPhone series. Unique LED Notification Lighting System Lightweight for its size but a little cumbersome. I just love the eye-catching transparent back design that we will get in any other phone generation. It also got customizable patterns for ringtones and notifications how brilliant it is from user experience point of view. It comes with 6.55 inches full HD plus flexible OLED display. IP53 certified against dust and water. Speaking of fingerprints, even with the completely clear Gorilla Glass 5 back, the Phone 1 does a decent job of repelling them, and when you do spot smudges, they buff out easily enough. Buyers who spring for an official Phone 1 case might appreciate its clarity out of the box, the case is also, not surprisingly, transparent, however, expect prints to adhere to it far more readily, and require more elbow grease to buff out, than on the phone itself. Despite its straight sides, the edges of the recycled aluminum frame are subtly rounded to ensure that the Phone 1 is more comfortable in the hand than you'd expect and, what's more, it feels lighter than its build might suggest, at 193.5 grams, it sits below the 200 gram threshold beyond which a device's weight starts to feel noticeable. While the phone's transparent back is a conversation starter, its statement feature is what nothing has dubbed the Glyph interface, a series of 900 white LEDs arranged across the phone's back in a distinct configuration that act as something of a notification light on steroids. To help with power efficiency, that refresh rate is also dynamic, meaning it can automatically switch up and down in frequency, HZ, based on what the phone is doing. The lower the HZ the less fluid the motion appears on screen but the less of a drain on the battery the display becomes. The phone also sports dual stereo speakers, but understand that it's not an even split, with the majority of the power being driven from the down-firing speaker, while the earpiece outputs mids and highs. The brand's signature dot matrix font, which can be found across the phone's hardware, such as on its glass back and even in the SIM tray, also carries across to the user interface, dubbed Nothing OS, fronting menus and select widgets. It comes with tuned version of an older 7th generation Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 778G plus what else we want. This comes paired with a base 8GB RAM, but the top tier model can be had with 12GB, while the plus denotes the inclusion of wireless, up to 15W, and reverse wireless, up to 5W, charging support. This is huge and I just love this phone. Where the 778G plus, and an Android user experience in need of further refinement, does fall down, is with battery longevity and while there's an argument to be had for the phone's ability to learn and optimize power management based on usage patterns, baseline longevity underwhelms. Behind the glass and the visible components, the phone 1 packs in a 4500mAh battery, which nothing claims delivers up to 18 hours of use per charge. For me, I am very happy with the battery. A single charge handled email synchronizing from a couple of addresses, about 45 minutes of video streaming, an hour's social media use, light camera usage, 20 or so minutes of web browsing and messaging, all topped off with 15 minutes of gaming, before sitting at critical battery before bed. While the front-facing snapper clocks in at an unassuming 16 megapixels, both rear cameras pack in the pixels at 50 megapixels apiece. I bet this is more than enough for anyone to click pictures and video shots.
the main Sony IMX766 sensor, supported by OIS, optical image stabilization, is ubiquitous amongst phone makers, found on current offerings like the flagship Xiaomi 12 and mid-range OnePlus Nord 2, while the secondary 50 megapixels Samsung JN1 Ultra Wide delivers a degree of consistency when switching between the two focal lengths. Shooting on the phone 1 is fun, the shutter is reasonably fast in daylight or artificial lighting and images from the main 50 megapixels Sony sensor serve up a nice amount of detail and colors that dance, tastefully, with oversaturated colors. My overall review, nothing phone 1 is really cool and awesome with all its features and look. My rating is 4.5 out of 5. What do you think, please share your ratings in the comment section. Thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos.